I was uh, born and raised in Uly. You know, um, it's my hometown. Played high school there. Fortunately, had a, a great high school career with great coaches and teammates that um, led me here. You know, and I was uh, very thankful and um, wanted to come here. You know, continue on that tradition, that legacy that was already built before I got here. You know, you got football here, which is a great atmosphere. You got basketball. I just feel like Alabama's a complete package. You know, it's a great uh, campus. You got the quad. You know, you got everything that you need to uh, to have. And um, great students around here. You got students from all over the country that comes to Alabama. You know, just because of what it stands for and the relationships I built with those people. You know, and um, meeting people in fraternity and sorority. You know, it's just a, a family atmosphere. You know, and um, when I first got here, I didn't know how to feel, but when I left, you know, it felt like home, and you know, I missed it when I left. It was a high standard, and you know, and um, Coach Saban made sure that that was uh, that was well known when you got recruited. You're gonna be held at a high standard, and you know, you're gonna be uh, expected to win in everything you do. You know, and that's the best thing about it. You always have a high expectation in, in what you do, whether you're on the field or in the classroom. You know, everybody look, looks at you a certain way, so you gotta carry yourself at a high standard. The winner of this year's Heisman Trophy is Derek Henry. <laughs> So honored, so grateful to, uh, to accomplish that. Giving credit to my teammates and my coaches, you know, because I, I won't be able to win that award without those guys. But, you know, that's a, a childhood dream, you know, and that's something that's always be, always be special to me. And me and the university in Alabama can uh, hold together, you know, mark one of his and be, for me to be the second one, you know, that's a stamp, you know, for me in this, in this university, you know, to uh, something that I can always come here and look at the trophy and facility, you know, and, um, some that I can always cherish and, you know, and the, and the university can cherish together. You know, when I left here, went to the NFL, you know, I didn't feel like it was nothing different. I felt like just stepping to the NFL was just like being in Alabama again. But, you know, it didn't have that same atmosphere. You know, it's like, it's a business, it's your job. You know, uh, Coach Saban runs a, runs a program just like the NFL, so it wasn't a big transition. You know, like I said, it's something I was cherish for the rest of my life, and um, that's something we get right into today. When you come here, you know, it's high expectations. You know, you're going to play at a high level, whatever sport you play. I know football, we all want to play at a high level. I want to be successful. I want to make our mark when we leave here, you know, as being legendary when, they, when we played on the field. And then being a good citizen around here, as far as in the community, being a good student in the classroom and graduating, which is the most important thing. You know, I was just a kid from a small town. I just wanted to come here and um, make a great opportunity for myself and uh, do the best that I can. You know, make my family happy by coming here uh, been successful in football and uh, graduating college, which I did. Majoring in um, communications, minor computer technology. Um, something that I promised my grandmother and my family that I wanted to do. Who She she, she passed in um, 2016, so I want to make sure I accomplish that because she always told me, you know, football, you know, is a, a great thing for you, but football is not always going to be there your whole life, so you got to have something to rely on. Alabama is a great school for uh, great ambassadors, you know, whether it's in sports or whether it's in business, whatever you want to do, you come here, you work hard, and then um, the sky's the limit.